Hello, uh, welcome back to another time capsule vlog. I'm your host Jason. So this is a uh, house update. So we basically have my oldest son Colton's room fully done, like done enough to move in. So I mean, there's some stuff in here right now, but for the most part, it's it's empty. So um, we just got a door, and with old house, I didn't realize that there there's a standard door size however um, there is no substandard door size so what I had to do is I had to cut off um, the bottom of the door and the door frame so I mean I think I did okay and then you know I just painted it uh, and then we used one by four standard pine boards and then painted them for trim it's like a you know cheaper option and i didn't go all fancy you know with the angle because i've seen other places like wayfair and stuff you can get uh you know doors that are like this um and with like the light switch i what i did is i put um all the connections in here for like his circuits it's all in here so I can get to them. So it's not like up in the attic to where, you know, you have to climb up the attic to find the little uh, metal box where all the connections are at. So if ever we have to work on it, I can get into here and work on it. Um, and then I had to build his attic door. Um, and I, you know, I did the same thing, frame it. I framed it in a pine because um, there was no attic access. Uh, existing in the in the house uh, they had, in the kitchen there's like a little tiny access hole for like well we can't store anything in it then and it's harder to get to where the exhaust fan for the bathroom is so I just you know I took a piece of OSB and then I put this uh, veneer uh, little thin board glued it to it and then I put um, glued insulation to the back and then I extended the floor in because you can see in there a little bit. Um, so I did that. And in the attics, I just put like a simple pole chain light. Um, so that way, you know, there's only one right now. We can always extend it later, you know, hook another one in the series and then have light further down the basement. But for now, I just got one light. Um, and then I, I was like looking at different door stopper options. So we decided to go with just this. So when his door opens, it hits there and stops it from banging up the wall. Um, and with an old house, what we decided to do too is like uh, some Mexican restaurants, Olive Garden, places like that do like texture. So we did the drywall instead of like me shimming all the uneven boards taken forever to do it and then like have sand the mud that's on the drywall I just textured it and then painted it it's like there's some unevenness but it kind of hides it like when you just look at it you know it looks decent um, my son picked out the colors for his room he went with a two-tone gray so he has like a lighter gray on this wall and then like opposite walls is a darker gray and then we just went with white all around it um, and then again, another, there's the other attic access. This, I left this way, obviously there is no, another floor. So I just glued on uh, the insulation to the back of that access panel, just like a thin board, and then framed it in with one by fours. So that way, you know, you can get in and out of the attic. Um, my son picked out his own ceiling fan in my, uh, mother and father-in-law got it for him so he has a remote for it so he can control uh, he can control it with a remote so the thing is with that remote though if you lose it and you have it turned off it won't turn off the, on with the light switch anymore so i told him you cannot lose your remote but if you like mess with it and turn it off with the remote you won't be able even with the light on you won't be able to turn it on um, now with the windows, I didn't finish those um, because we're going to get new windows. So they're, they're kind of old. Um, I didn't put any um, boards around it because, you know, they're going to have to rip everything out. 
But once we get the whole house done, we're gonna frame, you know, put like a border around that too. And then, you know, like I don't really like how we want baseboard heat. I don't really like how it's, you know, like barely there, like right on the lower part of the window. Um, but for now, that's what I had to do. I had to trim the windowsill off a little bit in order to fit that on there. Uh, and then uh, the existing attic, or not the existing attic, the existing closet they had before we tore everything apart was one closet shared between two rooms. So you get to the other bedroom for that. And then our boys, you know, they've always shared a room and they wanted their own, um, they wanted their own closets. So what we did is I measured and I split it in half. So my oldest son's closet, you know, is more uh, close to their closet rod for the clothes is going to be that way. And my youngest son, when we get it done, is going to be the opposite way because there's a window in that closet. But they're both basically the same square footage. I measured and did that um, and then had to build the outside wall on it. Um, and right for now, just to get the house done, we're not going to put any doors on it. We're thinking about just getting uh, like a clothes rod or a tension rod and then a curtain on it if he wants to not see what's in his closet. Um, and we just want the basic, you know, board for now. His light's just a pole chain light. You know, it's just simple, like cheap route. So just, you know, just a pole chain. So you can see in there, um, I extended the trim with the one by fours all the way through just to hide any unevenness with the floor. Um, the flooring is just linoleum, um, looks like wood. So we went with that, it kind of matches what he, what he has. Um, but yeah, we got you know, white on the ceilings, uh, white on the trim, white on the outlets. Uh, but yeah, that's what we went with. Um, let me know what you think of the room. Uh, if you like it, whatever you like about it in the comments, I'll get back to you. Um, and yes, this was from doing my son's, my son's room. I uh, hit myself in the head uh, with the hammer. I was bent over by, um, I was bent over by this uh, attic door, putting in the finish nails and one bent and it was stuck and it was like kind of bent over and I was trying to get it out and the hammer slipped in my hand and whacked myself in the head. <laughs> so be careful if you're doing, you know, home renovations, home repairs. We might do a follow on video of once he gets everything finalized in his room, how he lays it out. All right, so we got all Colton's uh, room done enough to move in, like I said. And now we've got pretty much everything moved in and set up. You know, at least some of it might be kind of temporary. Uh, you know, like the fish tanks. So we'll start with the fish tanks. Um, we don't have stands for him yet, but you know, he wanted them up here. So he has his goldfish and then his guppy tank over there. And that's where they're gonna go once he gets the stands. They'll just be, you know, raised up. Um, and then on this wall, that might look like a stick, but it's a wand that he used with the Dremel to make it kind of like, you know, Harry Potter inspired. And then above it, he's planning on putting his uh, arrow of light, which is still in a box that we haven't found yet. Um, and then maybe on this wall, also some shelves for what's in the closet. We'll get to that. Um, but like there was no more room for it, as you'll see as we go around the room. So over here, you know, he's got his Montpelier hat hanging up there. Uh, some of his Hot Wheels and uh, action figures he didn't want to open on the wall. Necklaces and like uh, little collectible key rings and uh, bracelets that you get from different things, earning different things. Um, his bed is right here. So going like that. And then we moved his uh, subwoofer to there. So you can feel it, you know, while he's on his bed, you can feel the vibrations. He has a lamp on there for now. Um, we don't have like door stops yet, like to keep, because the rest of the house ain't fully finished. So like, you know, we're gonna get uh, 
one of those door things that go there. So we just are using a blanket for now. Um, on the wall, he's got his right speaker. You know, we kind of just followed it along. A little basketball hoop. Um, and then he has some LED strips going, you know, around as far as they would go that way, around the closet uh, or the attic access door. Um, and then those stereo lights or stereo wire goes to that. That that does it. So there's one going over to the left speaker also. Um, his TV stand. So he's got his big TV bought with his paycheck money. Little bank up there. Cup with some knickknacks. His uh, Technic. Dom's charger, Lego set right there, his video games, some books, like pop, awards, his Xbox, um, and miscellaneous electrical stuff there, uh, baseball cards, DVDs, a uh, little decoration of a deer, um, LED strips, you know, go over that, and then go around, he's got like clock up there, some incense burners, diffusers, um, some of those uh, Thai Beanie Babies, like that princess one I gave to him before, like when it was worth nothing. Now I think they're worth a lot. <laughs> but because like that was back from when I was a kid. Uh, he has some mini brand stuff, a little engine he built that works. Um, some Legos. Uh, some other uh, cactuses there. Uh, Knight Rider, the pursuit mode that actually works and it's like worth a lot of money now um, some of his uh, die cast cars like die cast model type cars there and there um, and then these are plates that his grandmother gave him and then he has uh, a collectible spoon up there and these are prints from work um, so we do like metal stamping, metal lithography, and these are like scrap sheets. So I thought some of the designs were cool, like stuff that he liked. I cut them out and then hang them on the wall. A uh, little resin thing that he made, hang it up there. This is uh, something he got from Dollar Tree, right, Colton? Yeah. He just kind of like decided to make that, put a little fake plant in it, hung it on there. Different awards, picture. Now this isn't fully 100% organized. We don't have a power strip for it, but he has his tarantula there. I don't know if you can see his tarantula. Where, where is it at? Where, oh, did you get the light? Oh, there it is. There's a tarantula. It's a, um, what do you call it? Pink toed? Mm -hmm. Pink toed tarantula. It's actually moving more than it normally moves. I think it's eating. Was it eating? Can yeah. we catch it eating? Because it yeah, it's it's like uh, in its mandibles, it's like shoving stuff in there. So I think it is eating. We won't bother it too much. Um, why is the cricket lid off? I don't, I don't know. All right, so Colin Pry also has crickets all over his room. Probably, mm. but he's got a uh, oil warmer. You know, like a laptop, like an old one that he got that he's, he's trying to fix. Just knickknacks in there. A little cooler mini fridge for pop. Another laptop, a screen to put it on there. Headphones, printer, candles, that kind of stuff. Um, and then up here we got uh, his, like a little uh, wolf. For now, we just put curtains like this until we get like more of a permanent setup for his closet. Oh, he wants to show his class ring they got. I don't know if that's showing up very good because the light's not the greatest in here. Yeah, it's kind of. There we go. Yep, his class ring. Just got that this past week. And then, in the closet, it's. This is all the Legos, but we got to find. Sh shelves for like probably put the shelves on the wall and then he's got like little uh science things we just stuck in a box his scooters back there his bb gun 
clothes. Not all of them are in here yet. Um, and then the L other LED strip follows around there. Um, but yep, that's pretty much how his room's all set up. And then I think he's gonna turn on his LED strip and then you can turn off your light and it should be able to see how it goes around. There you go. So it's pretty good. I didn't think it would stick because it didn't say it stick to the rough texture uh, walls, but um, it actually did stick. If we would have known that, instead of going around the stand and then behind the TV, it's kind of cool because I think it's kind of neat behind the TV um, and then around the door, we would have went the opposite way around the wall and then just had it all the way around the border, but it said it didn't stick. but we don't hook the ends together. You have to hook them both at where it plugs in. So we didn't realize that. We thought they could hook end to end and then we would have continued it from there around somewhere, but I think it still looks nice. But yep, uh, let us know what you think about his room. Oh yeah, I didn't show this yet. But he has got his gaming chair there. And then this thing takes up a lot of real estate. It's a big Joe bean bag. So he's got that right there, so he can like lounge on that too, but we're able to make it work. That's about the only way to, you know, with doors and windows and the heater, that all this stuff could fit pretty much. But let us know what you think and we'll get back to you. Until next time, have a good night and take care.